Hidden Heights Farm, you want a tractor review? I'm gonna give you this tractor review on my John Deere X320. Now that I got your attention, I wanna show you my, my John Deere, AKA Juan Deere, because I got the fancy Walmart headlights up front. Now, this thing will outperform and outdo that Mahindra any day of the week. I plan on getting a front end loader on this and a uh, back excavator attachment. It's gonna cost about four grand, but uh, this thing, man, you could roll this on. They got an attachment for this that you drive, you drive this lawn tractor up into a combine and it becomes the center operating base for the combine. You just make a couple hookup adjustments, turn a switch, and it becomes a giant John Deere combine. Guys, I'm telling you, these X320s is where the money's at. I've actually pulled semis out of ditches with this thing up on the road, because I live right up on the highway and we run gravel all the time, and they're always going off the road getting stuck. Good old Juan Deere, it's always right there, pulling these guys out. Now, this tractor doesn't come without cost. She's a heavy beast. Uh, she weighs in around about 12 tons, and you run a high octane nitrous gas mixture in this mower, and she produces a probably about 460 horsepower uh, at the rear wheel. Now, it is a four wheel drive tractor. It may look like it's two wheel drive, but it's actually four wheel drive. They have internal axles going down to the gear reductions in the front end that that drive these front tires now i got the garage tires on this right now because i have to be able to fit this in my garage but usually it runs 37 inch uh super swampers with they're really turf friendly so i just want to point that out too uh and the front here we got about 3,000 loom headlights and that's just the stockers these ones right here they put about a billion candle power watt out and that thing really lights up the cornfield when you're combining at night. Now, don't get me wrong, those didn't come without a freaking heavy price tag. I tell you what, I got those at Walmart and I don't even want to tell you what I spent on because it's absolutely ridiculous. Let's go into the cab. Now in the cab of this tractor, here's your throttle right here. Now they don't put it on the floor because they know you got a lot of lead foot hillbillies out there that will pop the front end on this thing all day long. So they like to give you a little bit of throttle adjustment, especially when you're driving it up on that combine because uh, you don't want this thing popping wheelies in the field because you'll sink yourself quick. Now it's not an issue because this thing will get itself unstuck. Now I do have this fancy turning knob because sometimes I like to drink some cold ones when I'm out there in the field plowing and I don't need to be sitting here holding this thing with both hands making turns, you know what I mean? So uh, there's a lot of cool features on this and I wanna just point out this seat right here. This seat, everybody knows these John Deere seats are the best seats on the market. They don't ever fade or crack in the weather. And they also come with this nice cushion cover just in case, you know, there might get a little moisture out there. You need something to dry up, protect your seat. They got you covered with this cover. So now I got a deck height adjustment on here and it also works with uh, the front end loader and the back till blades and a cedar if you need it. Now I don't have that kind of money right now, but it's definitely there. One thing I, I want to go it. after is, I'll go over is this. Now, this gas cap, this thing has about a 60 gallon gas tank on it. Now, usually when you're out there in the field, I usually just haul around an extra 55 gallon drum of fuel because it's a special mixture because it has that ox uh, high octane nitrous oxide mix. And I can just take this and I can just pump right into here, 55 gallon drums. This thing is a wide mouth, just like a Coors Light can. Takes the silver bullets, drinks them down, no hesitation. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I do a lot of pulling with this tractor. We get a lot of semi stuck in the road, so I had to install a ball hitch. That's the one downfall of this tractor, John Deere. Totally, totally missed opportunity for John Deere putting ball hitches on the back of this thing. Because this thing, oh man, towing capacity on it, pff, I don't even want to know what it is but I know this thing's probably pulling about 1500 torque. So I'm telling you, get this aftermarket part. John Deere, get your stuff straight, man. Missed opportunity. You guys get a hitch on your tractors. Another thing I like to point out is high stack transmission on this. This thing has no shifting because ain't nobody got time for that. 
you got your forward, you got your forward and reverse buttons here on your pedals down here. You got your brake because we all get a little crazy sometimes and need to stop. And uh, another thing I want to point out is they do have an orbit button option for this tractor. Now let me let me tell you about this orbit button uh, option. It's a little button that you can put up on the side here. And if you get yourself in a sticky situation and you need to get out of somewhere real quick, you know, whether what that may be, you can hit that button and it does a fuel dump right there. It sends all fuel capacity from the tank to the motor, burns it instantly. Now, you might gonna be strapped in for this and you might wanna wear some sunglasses because you're gonna be eating some bugs down the road if you have to use this option. There she is, boys. It's where all the magic happens right here. You believe this little motor puts out that much horsepower. Everything I covered today comes out of this little power machine right here. Now you can tell this is just one of the high capacity fuel lines of this machine. One downfall of this machine is as it gets older, you've got magnetic, magnetic coils up here running on the armature that run your spark plugs. You can only see two of the 16 that are in, right, in here right now. Uh, now this is a high performance torque starter uh, because this is a very high compression motor. So you want to be really careful with that because if you don't if you don't decompress the compression in this motor before you start that, man, you're gonna start you're gonna be jerking off the line and you're not gonna know what hit you because this thing will just flip you right off. That ain't no lie. All right, guys, this is the serious part right here. This is the best attachment you could possibly spend your money on. This is the 48 inch cut mowing deck by John Deere that fits on my X320. Now, going over this thing, it's a little bit extreme, but stay with me. Now, the bearings and all these pulleys, I had them all replaced. Had them replaced with uh, German engineered bearings. They're reinforced with kryptonite. So these things are not gonna get hot. They can run super fast, especially when you're powering it with this big horsepower puppy behind me. The cutting blades are diamond reinforced carbon kryptonite space aged material. Actually, ordered them from NASA, but shh, that's on the download. This thing has one option that nobody knows about. So you're cutting grass, right? Now, everybody's like, oh, 48 inch cut deck? Dude, that's amateur. That's like, that's like, super small well especially i got 32,000 acres of a front yard that i cut every week but it doesn't really matter when you're cutting grass at 42 miles an hour but that's not what i'm getting at this thing when you're cutting that much grass you get thirsty and it has a juicing option guys on the side where you normally see the grass shoot would be there's a tank there and it's a juicer so when you get a little thirsty you just go and hit the garden y'all you hit that juice button, fly through the garden, chops it up, juices it, puts it right in that tank, sends it right up to the driver. Dude, I'm telling you, no lie. This is all truth. Best mowing deck on the market. All right, guys. Now, I didn't show you this when I had the hood open because you couldn't see it at the angle I was filming at. But this is my nitrous fuel tank mixer. Now, we do, we do straight nitrous mix in the tank. But when the, when the dust hits, sun's going down, and I still got about six more acres to cut or so on and so forth, got to turn the juice on. I said you cut grass at 42 miles an hour, did I not? I'm telling you, she's a bad machine. All right, guys. Now we're on the bottom end of this tractor. Now I got to tell you something that nobody else is going to tell you about this tractor. This pulley right here, this is what drives all your attachments on this tractor. Now, you don't ever, 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 ever run this tractor without an attachment. This pulley is so powerful, if you run it without an attachment, it will create tornadoes. No lie. Unless you want to piss your neighbors off, don't be making tornadoes. Because this thing, it makes tornadoes. All right. One thing you guys may have noticed, you guys, you guys may have noticed this during the filming. Of this video and you may have been asking what Mike what's all this what's all this right here well this tractor the Mahindra showed up these are John Deere tears now 
I tried talking to the old girl and telling her it's going to be okay, but she's kind of a little bit of a sissy girl. Sissy. But she'll get over it. You know, I just want to say thank you guys for the ones that watched, and if you liked the video, please like. And if you like the channel, subscribe. And if you really like the channel, share it with your friends. Help me out. See you guys on the next episode.